Looks like it's all about to change It's all the same but I'm a different me Routine head spin dizzy Lost sleep with no priorities And you think that I'm alright But I don't know what I'm doing I could try to run or I could get through it Forever stuck in my head Just give me the way out And I got so good at lying Cause truth hurts so I just start fighting Forever stuck in my head Just, just give me the way out It's so hard trying to get it right When I still live at home, I still ride my bike But one day I'll be up in New York lights I just gotta get that one thing right But I don't know what I'm doing I could try to run or I could get through it Forever stuck in my head just give me the way out And I got too good at lying Cause truth hurts so I just start fighting Forever stuck in my head Just, just give me the way out I'm scared, I'm scared, I'm scared I'm scared, I'm scared, I'm scared I'm scared, I'm scared Self-professed, profound Until all the chips were down Oh, you're a gambling man Love is a losing hand Though I bad blind Love is a favor's eye Memories mark my mind Love is a favor's eye Over few tile hearts And laughter the gods Oh, you're a gambling man Love is a losing hand You drove me in and they drove me out of my head While you never shed a tear Remember I remember all that you said Told me love was too plebeian And said that you were through with me And now you say you love me Well, just to prove you do Softly with his song Telling my whole life With his words Killing me softly With his song I felt a flush with fever Embarrassed by the crowd I felt he found my letters and he read each one aloud. I prayed that he would finish, but he just.
that certain je ne sais quoi There's just that something about her She dwells around in her fancy gowns Like the one Hello What's up, what's up, what's up? Oh, Lord. Lord, help me. Oh. Hello. I'm just so bored. I, I really have nothing to do. And during this time, I usually FaceTime my sister. But she's a busy woman, I guess. I guess her life doesn't revolve around me i don't know what the fuck is up with that but so i'm like sitting here i'm like what the fuck do i do and i'm like you know what i haven't done this little thing in a while let me do this so yeah i don't i don't really like have oh my god this is so overwhelming it's so like scary hi oh my goodness it's been a while how is everybody <laughs> It's so scary to do this again every single time i never get used to it it's okay it'll die down and and people will leave and then it'll be normal hi how are you i have blonde hair by the way i haven't like posted that no bangs grace and you know what there was a time in my life where i was like i was born to have bangs i will never not have bangs ever but i don't know Lately, I just I feel like they don't even suit me anymore. Like, I've, like, kind of done it. Well, that's kind of cute. I don't know. I could rock anything. I'm just, like, not... I don't even know what the fuck I'm talking about. But, yeah, they dyed my hair, and I love it. And I got it for free. Um, but, yeah, how is everybody? I don't know what the fuck I'm doing, but... Oh, also, I'm going to get extensions, I think which I'm, like, incredibly thrilled about. But, yeah, I'm just feeling really fantastic. I think that there's something in the air. You know, I don't know if anyone else is feeling it. But I'm really doing great. I really feel great. I feel like good things are coming to me, and I'm ready to accept them. New Year's resolution. The actually New Year, new bitch. Literally. I always thought that was like stupid, whatever, New Year. I just, I'm, you know, you're feeling it. I literally was just talking to my friend and he was like, yeah, I like got up today and I like actually cleaned my house and like did my homework and I'm like getting over this funk. I was like, fucking me too. Like I just woke up, I'm out of my funk. I feel like I'm energetically open to opportunities. This year has put me through some shit. Let me tell you that. Talk about a karmic year. This year was the universe telling me, you're not an adult. <laughs> you think you have it all figured out? Let me show you how weak you are and how much you don't, and it hurt and it was awful. But I'm genuinely coming out a new woman, almost to the T a year, which is like pretty crazy. And now I feel like now that I've been through that and all of those lessons and embarking in, is that the word? Embarking? That would be really embarrassing if it wasn't. But adulthood beyond, you know, just like paying your bills and cooking for yourself. It's more than that. You know, it's finding your power and intelligence and the people you want to associate yourself with and who you want to be, how you want to grow, how you want to spend your time, all of those things. And now that I feel like I've like been through the fucking ringer, now I'm like feeling all these like the things that I wanted and the opportunities coming to me because you know what? I wasn't ready for it before. I think it would have been actually like a fucking shit show <laughs> if it happened before because I was kind of a mess in my own delusions thinking that I was like had everything figured out. But yeah, feeling 
pretty good about that. Not to be the, you know, young person being like, oh yeah, I figured it all out. This, please shut up. I, <laughs> I hate, 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 hate when I'm like <clears throat> talking about something I learned or like how I feel like I'm, you know, slowly flourishing as an adult. And there's always like that one like bitter <laughs> adult that's like, well, like you don't have it all. Like everyone thinks that. I'm like, I know, I know. Do I have to make that disclaimer every time? I'm not delusional. Of course, of course. Stop, stop diminishing my accomplishment. You know what I'm saying? So with that being said, I will learn more, but it's been a really terrible year in a fantastic way. And that's how I'm feeling right now. And my hair is so long and, oh, that's kind of cute. I wish it was choppy like that. Anyway, I'm going to release new music. Finally, actually, it's going to be a, a good year. We have this movie coming out. I don't know if I've said anything about that. That's pretty great. But yeah. Good, good things coming. It's going to be a, a big year. And I'm going to try to be more active and everything. And like going on live. Because I used to love going on live. Going live? Going on live? I don't know. But <laughs> yeah. How long are you growing out your hair? So... I, this wasn't my choice. I was forced into this life because I'm very impulsive, as you guys know. And ah, I just really love life. Okay. Even when it sucks and even when it's hard. Whatever. Um, what was I even talking about? Oh, yeah. One thing was they were like, don't cut your hair. Don't cut your hair. Like months and months and months before even pre production. And I was like, okay, there were so many moments where I was so fucking bored and I was like, like fucking stopping myself from, you know, pulling the trigger, but I didn't. And now I, I'm like totally eating it up. Like I love it so much. I always thought that, I don't know. I always thought I just shined more with like shorter hair, but now I think I'm going to get like extensions and shit once I rap because I became friends with some of the hair girlies that they said they would do it for me. And so, yeah. Anyway, how are all of you? What's going on? I want to see you on tour again. Dude, trust me more than anyone. I also want to go on tour again. I'm like, that's literally my only happiness in life. But uh, it's just so fucking complicated. Like the whole, I don't know. It's so hard. There's just so many people involved with everything. And you need a whole roadmap to even like begin seriously thinking about it. Like you can't even just release. Like if you release, you need a whole like whatever plan. And then there's all these people involved. And then, and then there's a whole other team for the tour people. And they're all involved. And the more people to get involved, like, the more complicated it gets, and, like, it's just a lot. I really miss when I was just a kid, and I just, I coasted on through life. I was just giggling. I didn't even know what the fuck was happening. I just randomly went on this show. The other people fucking handled it for me, because obviously what the fuck is a 12-year-old going to do? And I just, <laughs> I, was, I was just like, shit, I, I guess the universe is just you know, really planning this out for me. And then I realized, no, 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 the, the, the universe was, but, but not in that way at all. And now I'm expected to know things and handle things. Oh, as if I have a brain. It's such a hard life. That I have. <clears throat> anyway. What's with the vaping? I know, I know, it's nasty, it's a bad habit. It, you know what? You gotta let me learn through my own trial and error with everything. I'm sure there's gonna be a day, or not, but I'm sure there will where I'm like, what the fuck am I doing? I have to stop, but we'll, we'll let the time go. 
<laughs> um, growing old is a part of life. I'm, I'm so excited to be old. Can we talk about that? I'm going to be the hottest, most bougiest older woman with so many wrinkles. I just want to annoy the fuck out of everyone. I'm so tired of seeing the baby Botox, Botox, how to not move your muscles when you talk. Oh my God. I feel like it's getting worse. Just allow yourself to fucking age, okay? I, I can't wait. I can't wait. I'm going to have as many wrinkles as I fucking can. It's going to be great. I get inspired all the time by like older women in fashion that I work with. Actually, I just got inspired by someone recently because I was just, it's just the small things about like experience and age. And there's this woman that I'm working with and she has like all of these like crazy stacked rings on like all of her fingers. And I'm like, I just think it's so... Ah, there's something about it I just love. I'm like, I'm stealing that concept from you. I'm going to be doing that. What did you think about the song Flowers? Girl, Miley Cyrus dropped that shit just when I fucking needed it. Like, actually, I don't even... The goddess of Miley was just watching my life. When I heard that, I was like, fuck yeah. And now I basically listen to it like a morning affirmation. I have a few morning affirmations I've been listening to right now. Anyway. Um, <laughs> I don't know. I'm scared and stressed. But like in a romantic hot way. I don't know. I'm just in a silly mood. And I'm really lonely out here. Dude, I miss fucking home. I miss home, man. I've been out here for so long. I like, I can't do it anymore. <laughs> I can't do it anymore. I need someone to talk to. I like know the staff of this hotel by name now. And we're like all friends. Cause it's all there is. <laughs> like I have nothing to do. How long are you filming? I'm <clears throat> I'm at the tail end of it. Which I won't say luckily cuz this has been like so unbelievably literally indescribably incredible and like I am so fucking happy that I can die saying that I did this. Like no matter what, it's given me so much peace. I don't even hold myself to standards or expectations anymore no matter what happens in my life. I'm gonna fucking die knowing that I did this project. Anyway, where was I even going with that? Oh yeah, but I am excited to go home. <laughs> and I'm rapping really soon. I think I rap on the 30... I don't think. I know. I rap on the 31st of January. So, a few more days to go. These are gonna be the hardest ones of all. But... I'm excited. I'm I'm excited to be a part of it. And I'm also really excited to go home and like have my sister. Cause I can't be alone with my thoughts anymore. Yeah. About midnights. What you think about midnights? I don't know what that means, my darling. I'm very sorry. Oh my god. It's good. I'm happy. I really miss home. Really bad. I'm really sick of this hotel room. <laughs> uh, do you live with your parents? No, I don't live with my parents. But sort of sometimes I like no we're not gonna get into that I'm not gonna talk about that <laughs> um, 
show your beautiful tattoos. You think they're beautiful? Thank you. Well, these are my, I don't love where it's at right now. Can I just say a disclaimer? The hard thing about tattoos is you have to like really openly be in your process and like, I don't know, it's frustrating that like people, I don't know, they, they can't see what I'm planning when they just like look at, I just manifested that you do a live. What the fuck? Ugh, I hate that. Love that for you, the power for you. But oh my God, did I like get manifested here? I don't know. I was just sitting here and it did like kind of pop in my mind. Cause I was like, man, <sighs> My sister's hanging out with her stupid boyfriend. We love her boyfriend, whatever. You know what I'm saying. And I'm just like, I have all of this energy. I feel so happy right now. And not in like a, you know, concerning manic sort of way. I have felt, you know, sad, bored during all of this. But the underlining vibe of, of the past few weeks slash few months for me have been that what i don't even know what the fuck i'm talking about anymore oh yeah but i was <laughs> with the manifesting thing i was literally sitting here i'm like i don't know i mean i have the ability not many people can just like go on live and just like get comments i guess so it's just like you know why don't i why don't i utilize that <clears throat> and also like chat and check in with everyone because I kind of haven't been around. The last thing I made was like my birthday post. Ooh, that was so like influencer -y. But that was like kind of a long time anymore. Ago. Uh my god. I am really happy. Thank you for noticing. I'm very, very happy. I feel great. I feel magnetic. I feel open to possibilities. Um, what was I gonna- oh yeah, I just have nothing to post. I feel like I always feel that way, like, I don't know, it's a hard dilemma of mine. Like, when I'm at home and not working, I'm like, oh, well, I have nothing to post, I'm just home and not working. But then when I'm working, I'm like, oh, well, I have nothing to post, because I'm either working or I'm not <laughs> working. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I don't know, I just never have- I'm not doing shit. I'm not a cool, you know what I'm saying? I'm just, I just sit here. Today I went to Starbucks, I went to Moe's, and I got a burrito. It was fucking incredible. I'm like really in a Moe's face right now. Like, I feel like Moe's is really overlooked, okay? Because everyone's like Chipotle, Chipotle, Chipotle. This is such a random conversation. But lately, I've had a hatred for the way that Chipotle makes their fucking burritos. I don't care. I don't give a fuck. It's, it's like getting a bad drink from a bar. Like, yeah, I guess you're doing me a favor, like, over, like, pouring. But, like, now I don't, like, like you made a bad drink. Like, I know they're, like, doing me a favor. That was, like, a weird, but it was kind of a perfect metaphor. <laughs> like, I know they're doing me a favor, like, putting in more shit but i'm like get your proportions right i'm sorry i don't want to have a fucking avalanche snowball of like vomit meat and shit in a tortilla it's just a ball i feel ridiculous i like get two bites i'm i'm about to like i'm, I'm just i'm about to explode i'm bloated i don't like it <laughs> i know you're giving me a bang for my buck and then I was like, oh, like, I've, I've never liked Moe's. I can't believe I'm fucking talking about this. But it's, it's a good conversation. And I was like, dude, finally, a, just a fucking burrito. Just like a normal burrito. Anyway, that's, and that's the story of <laughs> why I got a Moe's fucking burrito today. I don't know what I'm talking about. It was delicious, by the way. And it was the perfect thing. I just, you know what I'm saying? Anyway, I did that and 
you're talking to yourself at this point. Yeah, basically on camera. Actually, normalize talking to yourself. I just recently discovered that that, like, I'll fully be walking around my house talking to myself. Like a full conversation, out loud. Or narrating what I'm doing. I'm like, okay, now... Now I'm gonna do this and this is my high vogue. This is my skincare routine. How the fuck else am I gonna live? Like, you know, in my line of work, it's a lot of, you know, either go, 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 ice, uh, working or like complete isolation. I'm gonna lose my mind. Anyway. Yeah. Um... <laughs> How do we go from tattoos to burritos? Yes, I was talking about my tattoos. Okay. And then maybe I should go and get dinner. I don't know. I did just have the burrito. What do you like to read in your free time? Normalize talking to yourself, per. Thank you for validating me on that. Um. Right now, <laughs> I'm actually reading a fantastic book. I'm really in a reading phase right now because, oh, someone asked New Year's resolutions. This is one of my New Year's resolutions. I really, really, really wanna work on being more mindful of the way I speak and trying to be more articulate. Really, really, really trying to get comfortable with pausing instead of filling my like times of thinking with like or um or literally really want to expand my vocabulary anyway right now i'm reading um why does he do that <laughs> inside the minds of angry and controlling men it's been a good read honestly it's it's like a heavy title but it's been a good read I would recommend it for anyone, no matter your situation. It's just, I mean, if you're interested in psychology and, I don't know, social shit, it would be really intriguing for you, because I'm really interested in that. Anyway, tattoos. So, I, like, have a half sleeve right now, which I'm not loving. I kind of wish I worked down from my shoulder instead of from here but like whatever but this is it i have this bug theme i don't know how i feel about the flowers i feel like i want to do something to make it more unique but then after this i think that i'm gonna um put like a tarot card sort of design of like a goddess woman um right here because fuck it i'm already doing the forearm thing like i'm not gonna now i gotta stay with it so i'm gonna do that and then this piece is gonna be a one thing so we're gonna wait for that because i don't want to be like the really young person that already you know someone say the name of the book the name of the book oh my god i already forgot <laughs> i really have to work on my memory too there's some shit going on with that i gotta take a multivitamin or something why does he do that inside the minds of angry and controlling men it's good it's a good book it i like that it um <clears throat> has a lot of variety it has a lot of range it's good i like it anyway um i love the tattoos so far will you add some color maybe Actually, this, like, full upper piece that I'm going to do one day when I'm ready, I do want to be like, oh my god, I love this movie. This is such a good movie. This channel's playing, like, good rom-coms. Anyway, I want it to be, like, a watercolory thing. So this will have color. But for the most part, I don't know, I kind of like the more black and white vibe. It's the voice cracks for me. Is my voice cracking? You know what? I, I like my voice. I like it. I think it's cute. Someone once mentioned, they were like, 
it was a very sweet compliment. I love compliments that are just unique and genuine. And hi, Elijah! Hi. Anyway, they were like, I incorporate your birthmark into your tattoo idea. That's not, you're not the first person who's told me that. And I just won't. I just won't. Random unrelated question. Do you have ADHD? Uh, what, I mean, what do you think? Don't we all at this point, you know, with social media and TikTok and we're constantly shortening our attention span and reiterating that every single day. Who doesn't have anxiety or ADD today? Who doesn't? Maybe old people. That's why old people are inspiring to me. Oh, <laughs> this is such a, I'm on shrooms right now and your aura is totally sunset colored. What does that mean? I don't know anything about auras and I don't even know if I believe in it. But I actually don't. Okay, listen to this take right now. I don't believe in in not believing in things if that makes any sense like i think that there's like this sense of like god plexiness to be like oh i know best and i know that that's stupid and i don't believe in it what the fuck is up with that how do you know how do you know that that's bullshit are you god how do you know there's not a god have you fucking been up there? I just think it's so pretentious. Like, I am I love, love, love hearing what other people believe in or, like, what other people see and things like that. Hi, Grace. It's Andrew. I have ADHD. I commend you for admitting that. <laughs> that seemed like such a... Ah, just a weight off your chest do you take magic mushrooms no and i never have and i w i'm not gonna say i never will but definitely not right now all of that shit definitely seems like later in life vibes maybe on a, like a retreat after like a bad divorce or something but not right now i feel like something bad would happen right now you know it kind of freaks me out how normal it is becoming to have explored like a lot of psychedelics and like shit like that at like 19 or like a young age. I feel like for the most part, I more often hear someone who's like done so much exploring rather than not like at my age. I'm like, dude, save yourself some, you know experiences why do you need it right now i don't need it right now and that's not like a fun like i'm not you know what i'm saying i don't i don't even know anyway i'm tabitha and i have anxiety here we go is this <laughs> is this becoming a thing we're just i'm happy that i'm you know opening up this <laughs> safe space for everybody um how old are you now? I just turned 19 this month. It was a great birthday. Yeah, that's all I really have to say. I have no details on that. Um, hi. <laughs> I'm Grace. I have anxiety. Hi. Me too. Sometimes. <sighs> okay, well, <laughs> I like that we're all having our, our sharing moment right now. You deserve it. Get it off your chest. Do I recommend therapy? I don't, I don't know. Do you? Get your ass in the studio. Okay, <laughs> so demanding. I will. I want to. I want to. 
what do you think of snake bite piercings? So, why are people drunk just dumping their mental illnesses? It's, uh, you don't get it. It's fine. Sort of, maybe. I don't know if I can offer that. I am so devastated because I had to take out my snake bite piercings. Look at my bare tongue. Yeah, I they healed so beautifully for me. Like, I got them sort of as, I was just like, fuck it, it you know, if it goes wrong. Cause I mean, if you don't know, it's like a pretty hated on piercing in like the piercing community. But I'm like, I don't know, it's a piercing. If you're okay with wasting the money and you know the liability of it, you know, who's to say to not just try it? You can just take it out. <laughs> you can literally just take it out. And so I already knew everything about it. That would be my only advice. Just know what you're getting into. For me personally, it healed perfectly. Like, I was not expecting to love it so much. Dude, I was literally thinking... I'm I'm gonna have these for a year or this for years and years and years. Like it was my thing. It was my thing. I made it like part of my person. Who am I now? I don't know. I've lost all sense of identity. Who am I? I was, you know, the girl with the cool tongue piercing. Anyway, I had to take them out for um the movie. But it's okay. I was like, maybe I'll get it re-pierced, but I don't really care. It was a fun little moment. It suited you so well, TBH. I know, like, I feel like it was like a nice little accent to my vibe. I don't know, that's how I feel about my septum. S septums are like that. Like, if someone has a septum piercing, I'm like, that's just who you are. That is who you are. You know what I'm saying? It's like a freckle at that point. It's, it's identifying. Um, are you going to get diamond teeth again? I was thinking about that. Because I feel like every time after a movie or a project where I... Something about not being able to do anything really makes me want to do everything. And so I'm like, shit, maybe when I get home I'll like get extensions and get like a diamond tooth. Get some tattoos, get some... You know, go off the rails for a second worry some people what's life if you're not worrying some people you know what i'm saying i know when the patriarchy starts hating me a little bit that's when i'm you know doing something right i'm like this is a nice it's a nice feeling this is a nice experimental pyramid period <laughs> for me you know what i'm saying but <clears throat> are you gonna get more into modeling um Aw, you know, I really try with my eyeliner. I really appreciate that. And I want you to know that it is not effortless for me. And, oh wait, what was I gonna say? Oh, the modeling thing. Actually, that's one of my like New Year's things. I wanna release music. I really wanna collaborate more with like writers lately. I'm I'm like way more open to that. Putting my fucking ego and anxiety aside, we are leaving that shit in the past. That is child's play. You know a big thing that I've learned this year? Anxiety. <laughs> well, okay, let me not say that word because that's like a literal mental illness. But you know, it's, it's become just such a like term at this point. So let me say that disclaimer. Unnecessary anxiety. And holding yourself back based on how you would look or being cool or not, just f almost getting back to your inner child of just like, do you want to be best friend vibes? That shit is so adolescent. Like, now that I'm coming out of it, I'm like, that's so teenager -y.
sorry. I'm so scared right now. <laughs> oh my god. I literally have chills. Okay. I have to say something. <laughs> I have to get something out there. I have a deep, terrible fear. And it's like a literal fear that like I should go to therapy for. I face this fear every day. I am so intensely afraid of like calls. I don't know, like calls from just random numbers or like no caller ID, credit card ID. It's so, for some reason, like literally to my core makes my stomach drop. Like especially, oh my God, like late at night. I, last night I got a call and something's going on with me lately. There's like a bad vibe trying to fucking attack me and literally possess me because I don't really have bad dreams. I can't remember the last time I had like a nightmare. It was when I was really, really, really young. And and then I just, you know, I would have like bad dreams, like anxiety dreams, but I would I would never get like literal nightmares anymore. Just recently, I started getting like literal nightmares again. Last night, literally all throughout the night, I just had nightmares, like childlike nightmares that are actually fucking scary. Not like, oh, you know, um, it, it was an anxiety dream of like a natural disaster. No, like fucked up shit that I haven't had in years, like fucked up shit. Like, it could be a horror movie. And it's awful. I fucking hate it. Like, good God. It's terrible. And I feel like spiritually, it's got to mean something. It has to. It literally has to. Because there, there's nothing that I've done to, like, trigger this. I just... I'm just having nightmares all throughout the night. Like, every single night. Anyway... I don't know. Do you experience lucid dreams? I just, um, I just had a lucid dream for the first time in my life. I would say like three months ago and I didn't want to. I don't believe in lucid dreaming. Let me say that. I don't believe in lucid dreams. I don't think, I don't, oh my God, sorry. These comments are like so good right now and it's so distracting. But I don't think it's something that you should strive for. Um, I don't know. I just don't think that's natural. We're not supposed to be conscious in our dreams. But I accidentally had a lucid dream. And it was pretty dope, honestly. I, like, flew. And it was so fucking vivid. I, like, felt... I smelt the wind. And then I like froze and I couldn't stop flying. And then I was like, oh shit, I have to wake up. And then I woke up. But yeah. Um, I don't even like when friends and family, oh God, I, I can't even talk about, it. you know what also used to scare me a lot, but doesn't really scare me anymore. Something about calls and phones always scared me because when I was like a really, really, really little girl, like home phones, the your call has been oh my god that was so good <laughs> that was so fucking good that was like uncanny valley that was so good the like your call has been forwarded to the automated voice messaging system for you know whatever but that woman like that robot voice you so fucking scared the fucking shit out of me when I was like a, a really little girl, which I don't really face that anymore, but like straight up, I would like drop the phone. Like, oh God, leave me alone. And E.T. also would like fucking haunt my dreams. I was like deathly afraid of E.T. E.T. is not 
fucking you sounded just like him what the fuck no i i just got i hate talking about this creepy shit so i'm like did i get possessed by the fucking scary ass voice messaging system woman but et how how the fuck is that not supposed to be scary how is that not supposed to be scary i don't understand how children could have how eerie was it eerie that's the perfect word when they like threw the ball and it like slowly rolled imagine you're like out late at night this creepy ass shed and you just roll the ball and then it like slowly like got thrown back out to you isn't that what happened i don't know it's been forever but i remember i was like oh my fucking god how is this not scary when he was like in with like all the dolls and shit no et is not cute wait what does et actually look like i can't remember see i've avoided it like my entire life because this shit is so scary i like don't understand yes 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 oh my god selena selena you literally understand me no you understand me the scene when he's like dying and he's all white that shit was scarier than the fucking poltergeist like oh my god i remember being like when i watched that for the first time and i was shaking in my boots like i was so scared oh my god oh my god i i actually really regret doing this I actually should have never done this because I've avoided this my whole life. Basically, since I watched E.T. for the first time when I was like seven or eight, my entire life, I was like, I am avoiding E.T. at all costs. Dude, I thought that this was going to be a moment where I'm like, oh, I'm older now. You know, you look back and you're like, oh, yeah, it's creepy. But like this shit is actually scarier than I remember. You're telling me. Dude, I can't fathom someone finding this cute. I, I genuinely, you have problems if <laughs> you think this is cute. I, I can't even imagine. Look at this shit. Bro, you think that's cute? You think that's cute? What the hell? That is utterly terrifying. Absolutely, undeniably terrifying i just what the hell oh no y'all i'm i'm this is literally i feel like i'm a kid again and i'm gonna be like trying to go to sleep so scary why was this like a cute movie i never understood it someone said omg that scared me <laughs> I want to see the uh, uh, E.T. white dying. Oh, this, this actually, maybe it's because I totally forgot what he looked like. So it was like the shock of like remembering. So now I have like a little exposure therapy. This isn't as scary as I thought, but I do remember this scene absolutely scaring the shit out of me. Jump scare. <laughs> oh my God. I don't even know. He was scary at first and then you love him. Maybe it's his personality. Maybe it's his personality. That he like gets cute. Maybe I have to watch the movie because I don't know. At first glance, I don't know how you can grow love for such a demon i don't know i don't even know what the fuck i'm talking about anymore his personality i don't know what it, what is he even like i just remember him being honestly still creepy like being like ah, he's just like a weird pervy old man i don't know if i were that kid's parent 
I would actually cry and take my child away and like move to another country and like live life in terror that that thing would find my child again. If my child tried to explain to me that they were like connected and like loved each other. Oh my God. I would be so beyond disturbed. I don't know. Did the parents know? Did they get involved? We've been talking about this too long. There are, I mean, it's a really extensive conversation. There's a lot to be said. Okay. With all this being said, um, what are we talking about? I don't know. I don't even fucking know. I've just been running my mouth and thank you for giving this to me i had a lot of energy and now i think that i'm gonna go have a caesar salad a diet coke and some french fries by myself i love getting food by myself you know i just went to a restaurant by myself <laughs> and it was it was a sushi restaurant someone just said do you like sushi because i was like i want like comfort food but i want it to be healthy and they were like weirdly perplexed that i was there by myself kind of in an uncomfortable way like i first got there and the guy was like hi like for how many i was like oh just a table for one and he was like okay and then he like kept doing like his bar back or whatever he was doing like bartending and then he was like wait just a table for one and i was like yeah and then i sat down and then this is where it like got weird because then like a different server came up and she was like you have no one else joining you like you're sitting here or i can't fucking remember what did she say because i'm telling this i'm kind of lying she, it was something like, so it's just you. It was something like she was really clarifying. And I was like, yeah. And then another, a different server came up. Like, I thought that it was like, I don't know. It was so bizarre. And they were just weirdly perplexed. And I was just like, <laughs> okay. <laughs> like, can I just have some dumplings, please? And like, miso soup? Like, why are you coming for me? Okay. Anyway, thank you for offering this to me. Um, this was a great release. As you can tell, I had a lot to talk about. Random shit. But that's the healing shit. I love talking about random shit, clearly. Anyway, I'm going to go get a Caesar salad and some french fries. Bye. Love ya. We can drive to McDonald's, sit down with the toddlers, stick out the back, or even do a runner. Let go slow until the K hole. Let the home go like it's with Cheerios. I it started with the wine. The wine. The wine. We were shopping for a bottle to bring to her cousin's soiree. My cousin, the sous chef, she's very gourmet. I grabbed my favorite Cabernet. He's got no clue, and so I say, darling, the wine. The wine? The wine. They're serving monkfish, so darling, the wine can't be red. How about this Austrian Riesling instead? Honey, you know I don't like the Riesling. When have you ever seen me drink Riesling? Never, but can't you listen this once? Red wine and fish, you'll look like a dunce. Fine, I'll bring the red, you bring the white. That way I'll still get drunk, you'll still... With his words, killing me softly With his song